Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to look at a brand new deploy feature that's part of uh, Code for IBMI, which allows the developer or you know whomever to deploy a workspace folder directly to the IFS. There's going to be a few different videos. In this one, we're going to be covering um, a Node.js application. So I'm going to write a Node.js app on my local machine, and then I'm going to deploy it to the IBMI. So first off, um, I'm going to open a folder and then I'm going to create one in my downloads folder, just as a, an example. So node demo will do open, and this is going to be very basic. So I really am doing the most basic stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and install express because that's, you know, what everybody uses. So, and then I am going to go ahead and bring down the hello world example from the express website. So I'm going to make my index.js here, drop it in, save it. So now if I run node index, it's running an app, and then I can use a client to, to call it. So I can say localhost, uh, what is this running on? 3000, and if I send it, I get hello world. Really basic, okay? So I have written that on my local machine, and now I want to deploy it to my remote machine. So what I'm gonna do, First off is go ahead and connect to the IBM I want to deploy to. And just, you want the IFS browser. And I think I'm gonna create a directory here that I want to deploy to. So I'm gonna call it node demo. This is in my home home uh, home directory here. So I made that, now let me find it. Node demo, there it is. It's empty right now. So I'm gonna add that as a shortcut. And then I'm going to close that off and here it is. I'm going to right click on this and say deploy workspace to directory. But actually before I do that, obviously I don't really want to deploy node modules because I can get that installed when it's on the server. So what I'm going to do uh, is actually create a dot git ignore, even though it's not a git repository yet. And I'm going to add node modules in there because uh, yeah, we would never check node modules in. So then I guess while we're at, let's go ahead and initialize that as a repository. And uh, let's just say init commit. And yep, we'll just make that very first one. Now let's go ahead and deploy it. So let's go back to IBMI, right click, deploy to workspace directory. It says deployment directory set to slash home, Allen free, no demo. Deploy now. I can say I want to only deploy the staged changes from the Git repo or everything. So I'll just click all and it's pretty much done. So it just deployed my local directory or at least everything but the node modules folder. Okay, because it was part of the git ignore. So what I can do from here is go ahead and log in to pace, get the pace shell going here and let's CD into node demo and do an LS. Now I do have node installed. I have node 16, which is very close to what I have on my local machine, which I believe is node 16 also. Yeah, very close indeed. So from here, I can just do node index and start the app up, hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, cannot find module express, so that's because I need to npm install them. So this is gonna take a second. Okay, now I can do node index, start my app up on the IBMI itself. It's already in use. Okay, well, we need to change the port. So what I'll do is I'll just change it locally and I'll change it to, I think there's some rules about this server. So I'll change it to 9512. And of course I'll test that locally first. So I'll do node index and see that it's running on 9512. And if I just show you what we did, let's open that 9512 and try it out. Okay, works like a charm. So then um, we need to redeploy again. Easy stuff. I can click the deploy button. And this time I only want to deploy staged changes. So actually, Let's stage the file, okay? Click deploy, stage changes. It's deployed one change and deployment is finished. So now let's go back to the paste shell and try and run it again. Okay, so now it's running at localhost 9512, but this is on the IBMI. So I need to use the IBMI host name, sign.iinthecloud.com at that port. Taking a moment here. Definitely typed it right, I believe. Let's try that. Cancel request. Send. 
okay, maybe that port isn't valid port. Let's try a different one, perhaps. Let's try, uh, I know a different port that we could try that I've used before, 9123. That usually always works. So again, I'm going to deploy just the, stage, the stages. That was easy. I'm going to, and I'm still on my IBMI here, and uh, let's do node index. So now it's going to run on a different port, 9123. Let's do 9123. Oh, that worked. It was just a port issue. Well, nonetheless, I am able to make changes on my local machine and deploy them on the remote, which is really cool. So that means I can get full control of my Git client and then um, test them on the server. I can test them locally and on the server. So now if I run it here too, node index, now I'm running it on local host and on the remote. So if I take that out and just say local host, I'm running it there. Now if it's on the server, I'm running it there too, which is neat. So I guess what I'll do just for the sake of the video, I will just um, quickly add another route and I'll just say video and I'll just say, hello YouTube. And then what I'll do of course is I'll stage it again and click deploy, stage changes. And then I will restart the app on the remote. And I'm still running it locally, but that's okay. Then we can click send. And uh, there's that route now. And if I do uh, the second one, which is slash video, I get hello YouTube. So yeah, I can quickly deploy stuff to the IBMI that I need to test there, of course, and works like a charm actually. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and uh, yeah, appreciate it.